Hey, how's it going, guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about the huge money glitch ban wave that has been going around, if that's going to be affecting DLC, and really what is going on with the GTA 5 community right now. So again, if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video, guys. I would really appreciate it. And more importantly, leave your comments in the comment section down below. This is going to be a crazy, discussion-heavy video. We're going to be talking about money glitches, the new money lobbies going on, and again, how that really could affect DLC. DLC going forward and I just want to talk about a few things in general so with that out of the way let's get started so for those of you guys who are unaware it's actually probably a good thing but for those of you guys who do know what's going on there have been a huge case of modded money lobbies infected lobbies and crazy money glitches going on that Rockstar as of when I'm making this video have yet to patch they know that this stuff is going on but they haven't done anything to stop it so far and essentially people are getting like 100 million dollars in like an hour and they're getting crazy billions of dollars and the billionaire days are basically back so we're going to like early October where everyone had modded billions of dollars of money and this is something that Rockstar has really tried to stop in the past. So while Rockstar is in the work of trying to patch this, they are doing some things with not only Microsoft and PlayStation, but things in their own GTA Online session. You guys might have noticed that a lot of your probably favorite YouTubers or even some of your friends might have actually gotten put in the cheater pool. In a more serious case, they might have even been banned off of Xbox Live or suspended for two weeks. So there are some serious, serious cases and serious, serious repercussions going down for not only participating in these money lobbies, but hosting them as well. So if you see one of them or if you are in one of them, just do not participate whatsoever. So if you are obviously hosting a money lobby, it is in your best discretion to stop right now. There are going to be some serious repercussions and disciplines that have been going on. And if you are in a money lobby, like you see you're getting money in a very rapid way without your control, the really the best thing you can do is just leave immediately. Leave immediately and contact Rockstar Support. Do that on Twitter. Do that on their forum. Say, hey, I was accidentally put in this lobby. I left as soon as I could. I want no part of this because... I would hate to see any of my subscribers banned for something like this, for some other YouTuber doing something stupid, or for someone who's hosting a money lobby and just inviting people and you didn't know or something like that. So I don't want my subscribers to get banned because A, I don't host money lobbies like this, I don't participate in them, I'm not much of a fan of them, and I wouldn't want you guys getting banned either, especially when we're so close to a DLC. Speaking of DLC, this is something that really bothers me because I am really afraid that these modded money lobbies and money glitch lobbies are going to do some effect to the potential DLC that we're supposed to be getting tomorrow. For those of you who don't know, there's a rumored DLC pack coming out on August 12th. When this video goes up, it is, of course, August 11th. So I would hate any negative, you know, money lobbies to affect the DLC. You know, what if they have to push it back to another week? That's something I'm not really looking forward to. So hopefully this money lobbies don't affect what's going on right now. I know Rockstar really hates the fact that you can get unlimited amounts of money like a hundred million dollars, billion dollars, whatever. So hopefully they have a fix for this soon. Hopefully it doesn't push back any of the DLC. Again, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think about these crazy money lobbies? What do you think of people having millions and billions of dollars? Do you think it's a good thing because Rockstar's missions aren't good enough to make money in a, a normal grinding fashion? Do you think they ruin the game, the community? Again, there's going to be some controversy in the comment section down below, and I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. Again, if you guys did enjoy the video or found the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video, guys. I would really appreciate it. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto V content like this. With that out of the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care. And, of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.